Today what we're going to be talking about is retrofitting a T12 8 foot 2 lamp fixture with a magnetic ballast into a 4 lamp or a 2 lamp T8 fixture with a with electronic ballast that's 8 foot long as well. So this is what your fixture should like should look like after you build it. It should look with you have your reflector. This is actually a two lamp on each end. You can have a single lamp, which we'll get into later, or a three lamp. We can make this up to three lamps if we really wanted to. But today what we're gonna show you is we just how to do one lamp here and one lamp here to make it a two lamp fixture. So basically these are the old tombstones you used to get here with a center by pin for the T12 lamps. It's just very outdated anymore. And so what we wanna show you today is how to make this fixture a little more energy efficient, a little more better as in uh, luminance. And I think you'd be much happier with the fixture that we built here today. Okay, so what we wanna show you is this is what you're gonna get from the priority lighting, uh, priority lighting kit. You're gonna get your tombstones here for your T8s. Usually it comes with eight of them on this type of fixture. You're gonna get your bracket here. If you can see this bracket here, it has two pieces that break off. And what this does is you can bend this to the size of the fixture, either a four inch or a six inch fixture. And remember what I was saying about, about how you can have it a two lamp fixture, a three lamp fixture, or just a center one lamp fixture. These are those knockouts that I was talking about a little earlier. These here, you're gonna get these also in your kit. These are quarter inch fasteners. What these do is this holds that reflecting cover on to the fixture or just a standard white cover. These are the tech screws that always come with it too as well. These tech screws are you're gonna to use to mount the new pieces, mount the new brackets, and assemble the fixture correctly. Here's a two lamp ballast, the one we're gonna be using today. You can also get these in three lamp, four lamp, whatever you prefer, whatever type of fixture you're building. Here's the cover. This is the cover that we're talking about, the reflector. It says to remove film. I wouldn't remove the film until you're done building the fixture right before you put the lamps in. And we'll go through that when we get to that point. But you can see here, it just peels right off and you can see how shiny that is. I think that the, the reflector is better for, for giving you luminance that you want. It gives you a lot more lighting than just, just the plain white cover. This is the white cover that I was talking about. You can see it's just a plain white cover. All it does is cover the ballast, the wiring. It doesn't give you any reflectant. It just makes the fixture look clean. Okay, here's that fixture that we were talking about here that we're gonna retrofit today. As you can see, it's an old T12 two lamp with the old bi pin. The first thing we want to do is we got to get these pieces out here. Here's a few tools you're going to need. We got some strippers, some needle nose, a 5 16th driver, which I don't think we're going to use today, the quarter inch, a Phillips and a flathead. Just standard basic tools that you have in your garage or in your truck. That's all it takes to really to build this. You can do this right out of your home. It's real simple to do. So the first thing I want to do, let's go ahead and knock these end pieces off. So that way we can get to the tombstones, disassemble them, take this piece out. And then we'll get that magnetic ballast out. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna have to pry a little bit to get these out. They kind of pry out. They're sitting in a little slot here. You gotta pry them out. Once you get them pried out, they're pretty easy to take out. And you can see here's those little slots that I'm talking about. They kind of grab onto the metal and hold it in place. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna kind of stick your screwdriver in here, spread this out a little bit. kind of loosen it up and once you loosen up it should pop right out as you can see don't worry about taking this off because you're not going to use this piece anymore let's go ahead and move to the center pieces let's go ahead and take them out and like I said don't worry about damaging them you're not going to use them anymore Unless you want to go backwards and have another T12 fixture again. Parts are not required for anything new anymore. And now let's go ahead and move on to the last one. You're going to do the same thing as we did on the other end. Got to use this to pry this bad boy out. The flathead screwdriver is probably the best tool to use. If you can find a tool that's a little better, I recommend using it. Let's get this out of the way. Sometimes these things get a little cut in here and you gotta kinda beat them out a little bit. Otherwise it's pretty easy to do. Now we're gonna go ahead and get that quarter inch nut driver. 
We're gonna go ahead and screw. There's a screw here that holds the ballast in place. Let's go ahead and unscrew that and get that out of there. As you can see, look at the difference in size. Technologies came a long way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set this aside for now. Let's go ahead and open up this package. And you can see the difference in this thing. You see here, this is a two lamp. So you're gonna have your two blues and your red, and then your black and white for your power. What it is, is you're gonna have a common, and you're gonna have two lamps. The blues here, if you look on the diagram, this is for each lamp. This here is the common that shares for each lamp, and this is your power. So let's go ahead and mount this in place by using that same screw that we took out. Get it nice and tight in there. And once we assemble that, now what we need to do is start working on our brackets. We need to get our brackets in place so we can wire them up. So if you look at this bracket here, it's three pieces. And I'm gonna show you that right here. This just breaks apart, it becomes three pieces. One, two, and three. The bigger piece now is the center piece. This piece here, this is a four inch fixture. Four inches based on the width here. So what we're gonna do is if you look here, the four inches is basically the last lines here. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your fingers and go ahead and bend this. And what that does, that retrofits. And this is where the tech screws come into place and your tombstones. So what today we're gonna do is, like I was saying before is, I can make this a single lamp fixture, a two lamp fixture, or a three lamp fixture whatever your preference is, whatever you're deciding to build today. So we're gonna go with a single lamp. Knocks out, put in from the bottom, snaps right in place. Very simple. Easy to do, save you a lot of money. Sometimes they're a little hard, kind of give them a little tap, loosen them up, the paint, when they're made, sometimes hold them in place. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and snap this one in. As you can see here, we're gonna have two lamps, one going this direction and one going the other direction. So what we need to do now is we need to take one of these blue wires, and we're gonna use them in the middle. One's gonna to go to one lamp, one's gonna to go to the other lamp. So let's go ahead and stab this in. All it does, it stabs right into the fixture. It goes to one socket, take the other one, and we're gonna put it to the other socket. Real simple to do. Just stab right into place. Now we're gonna go ahead and set it right back down on here. And I think what we should do now is show you how to screw this in place. So we can move on to the next one. So I'm just gonna use one tech screw on each side. The best way to do this is flip it on its side. If you look here, this center knockout shows you the center of the fixture. So you know that if you put this in the center of the fixture, it's gonna fit both sides of the lamp. So let's go ahead and line this up. This center piece lines up with this. As you can see, the self tapper right in the middle and that holds it in place. I left it a little loose so we can do our adjustments at the final end of this. Okay. And it looks like we're about center, so I'm gonna go ahead and just snug this up just a little bit. Okay, and that's the first step of assembling this ballast. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the, the back of the fixture here. It has the same kind of bracket as the other one that we had, just a little bigger. This one is meant for both sides of the fixture. This is meant for one end of the fixture. So we're gonna go ahead and bend it like we did before. So we're gonna bend these ends, just like we did before. And we're gonna knock out that center one to complete this side of the fixture. Comes in from the bottom, snaps right in place. And as you can see here, Iron's not going to reach. 
So, what we should do is, remember the wiring you had from the old ballast? Let's go ahead and cut a piece off. So I already started to cut one here. I cut it off here. Let's go ahead and cut it off over here. And what that's gonna do is, that's gonna give us that length that we need to splice this together to make this fixture work. So you can see there, we're good to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get another piece on the other side and do the same thing as well. So let's go ahead and build the other side and get that one ready. And then we'll go ahead and wire this up. So we'll do the same thing here, bend them again, bend them again, center one, knock it out, come in from the bottom, snap it in place. So let's go ahead and wire this side up first since we already started on it. We're gonna go and strip about, about a quarter inch or so. Just enough like a, you know, your pinky length, or your pinky now. And we're gonna go ahead and stab it. Doesn't matter which side of the fixture you put it in, of the socket, you just go ahead and stab it right in there and push it as far as it can go. Okay, once that's completed, let's go ahead and screw this into the fixture down so we know that it's 100%. By taking your tech screws that come with your kit, it's gonna take two screws to finish this off. There's one. And let's go ahead and roll this on its side. Help us out a little bit here. Okay, perfect. Now remember, that old piece we took off, it still needs to go back on. So you got these needle nose here. You can use these to straighten it out. So what we want to do is kind of straighten this out a little bit. We kind of beat it up taking it out. So just by kind of straightening it out with your needle nose, it'll allow it to go back in place. The high side's always up, knock, knock out's always on the bottom. So we're going to do our final adjustment here, make this thing slid all the way to the back. Slide all the way to the back, nice and tight. A few little adjustments you're going to have to do as you build this thing. It's part of building it, you just got to adjust it for lamps, adjust it to fit, not a big deal. So we got this side done, this wire is able to reach now. Let's go ahead and work on the other side. As you can see, I, I have another piece of wire here to go ahead and put in this side of the fixture. Quarter inch or fingernail length is sufficient. Stab it in place, line it up, get your tech screws, and complete like you did on the other side. Get your end cap, otherwise you have your exposed wires. This one looks pretty well, looks pretty good. It wasn't too bent up, so I'm not going to worry about straightening this up like we did the other one. So let's go ahead and put this thing in place. What we've got here. Okay. That completes both sides of the fixture. As you can see now. This fixture looks a lot different from what it looked when we started. So let's go ahead and wire up these three wires. This wire here and this wire here need to go with that red. So it doesn't matter, let's just choose a side, pass this through. Let's choose a side and let's go ahead and strip them back and put them together. And you can leave a little slack on this red if you want, just for mobility, not a problem. So go ahead and line them all up. Get them all lined up nice and neat. Get you a little wire nut and put on there for you. And then we'll just kind of tuck this in there nice and neat. Give a few twists, holds it in place, 
And there you are. That's basically the assembly of the wiring, the brackets, the retro kit, the sockets of assembling it together. The last thing you need to do is, is to put the reflectors on, but we need to wire this up. So what we're gonna do is, I'm not gonna worry about wiring it up. Um, it's real simple to do. You have your neutral and your hot, it's up there in your fixture in your garage, your commercial building, anywhere you have it, it's all explanatory. Okay, the fixture's all done now, and here's what we're gonna do. Here's the reflectors. We're gonna go ahead and put these in place. They line right up with, see these little grooves here? Each of these grooves here, that's where your reflector lines up. And that's where those quarter turn fasteners come into place. So we're gonna go ahead and line these up like this. See, it came out perfect. Look at that. At the end of each socket, it ends. So what we wanna do now is, let's go ahead and pull off this removable plastic to keep it from getting scratched or damaged during shipping. Let's go ahead and pull this off. You guys can see what it really looks like underneath. It's an amazing looking thing underneath there. I can almost see my reflection in it. So here's your quarter turn fastener. It's all it is is just a little piece of metal that's bent a certain way. And if you look here, they line up this way into place. And let me turn my hand around so that way you can probably see it a little better. See how they go in like this? And all they do is they just lock in place. That's all they do. It just keeps the lens from falling out of the fixture. So let's go ahead and pop these in place. Quarter turn. Pop it in place, quarter turn. Pop it in place, quarter turn. Pop it in place, quarter turn. There's one reflector, basically how you install the reflector on your new fixture. Let's go ahead and finish the other one off. That way we can install the lamp and you can see what it looks like as a complete fixture. Same thing as before, let's go ahead and peel this plastic off. And once again, the plastic is here just for your safety of being protected during shipping and scratches of that sort. And here's your other clips that come with it. Let's go ahead and snap them in place. Quarter turn. Snap in place, quarter turn. Snap them in place, quarter turn. Real simple. And there you are. And that's how your lens gets installed on your fixture. And this is the lamp we're gonna be using today. This is a T8 lamp, 32 watt. It's a CEE approved lamp. And the ballast as well is CEE approved. What that means is that the ballast and the lamp are approved for rebates and, and things like that for energy. This is a, a type of thing that we're doing for you install this ballast in these lamps and it, they want to give you rebates because you're saving energy and you're trying to go green with the environment. But these lamps, I mean, you can get these lamps anywhere. You can go online to um, priorityline.com. They have these type of lamps. They're really good lamps. Um, you can get them up to 65K. And right now, I think the lamps we're using are five. These are 5,000K. So I'm going to show you how these go in. If you look at the bipins, pins they're real simple. These are the called bipin pin lamp. You're just going to drop it into the bipin pin and make a, a half turn. So let's go ahead and drop this one in. It just drops straight in. Quarter turn. Half turn, I mean. Sorry about that. And you can see, the fixture looks a lot different than it did when we started. It's a way better fixture. Now it's energy, it's energy efficient and this would probably approve for rebates. This would be a good fixture that, that they would approve. Same thing here, drop it straight in. Quarter, half turn, and that's it. And if you look at this fixture now, I think this fixture is gonna give you a lot more luminance than that other fixture that we had, that we started with. So if you're interested in doing something like this and um, retrofitting fixtures, Go to priority, uh, PriorityLighting.com, check it out. They got some kits on there you guys are probably happy with. I think that this is the way to go, and I think instead of buying a fixture and wasting a lot of money, I think this is the route to go for people who want to save money or who don't have a lot of money and are trying to save a buck.